What's up guys and we're back with another stay of play and today we're gonna be checking out Hogwarts Legacy. I've never watched a Harry Potter movie, never read their books, but this is gonna be completely new to me and I wanted to check it out. So as always, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you enjoy my reaction to this stay to play. So let's see. I'm very curious to see how this is gonna be. Especially because I have like basically no knowledge. Warner Brothers game. Avalanche. I don't know what Avalanche has worked on. I'm gonna be honest. Fort Key Games. Wizarding World. Lumos. Oh wow. I can't lie. That, I mean, it, it, that looks pretty decent. That looked pretty good. Visually? Okay. Not, not bad. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Trying to find the right balance for the volume. What is that? <laughs> Hogwarts. A legacy, dude. Hogwarts, huh? Hey, boy. It's not a word I'm used to saying, by the way, so if I, like, slip Welcome up and say it a little bit wrong, You're a new student at the me. famed school of witchcraft and wizardry, with a unique ability to manipulate powerful ancient magic hidden in the wizarding world. You'll need to uncover what's behind the return of this forgotten magic, and who is seeking to harness it. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, as you got these little dudes. decides the fate of the entire wizarding world. But before you can study magic and begin to solve these mysteries, you must create the witch or wizard you want to be. Okay. Got the customization. When you arrive at Hogwarts, you will be sorted into one of the four Hogwarts houses. My guy looked terrified. Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Slytherin. After you settle into your dormitory, you will meet up with your housemates in the common room. You will I've heard of Ravenclaw before. Classes, and you do have some catching up to do, as you were starting Hogwarts late, as a fifth year. So you are the new student. You'll begin your studies yes, attending that is charms, me. defense against the dark arts, herbology, and potions classes, to name a few. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Shall we begin? <laughs> welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I'm ready to fail. I am confident. We will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. The best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Time mm. for a proper Hogwarts. Is it just me or does the game look like it's like clipping a little bit or something? Like something seems a little bit off. It like it still looks good, you but like something it. seems a little bit off. Damn. Okay. My, my guy just beat the hell out of him. Bad for a beginner. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. Here you'll meet your professors and learn to cast And to be fair, the game's not done yet, right? So plant, we still got some things to work out. And more. In between classes, you'll be able to explore the castle famous for its secrets, enchantments, and mysteries. It's a big game though. You'll discover dungeons and secret passageways. Accio. As well as challenging puzzles that will require magical skill and a clever mind to solve. Okay. You may even find yourself in iconic locations you've never been able to explore before. No, that, that looks really nice, though. It's the late 1800s, so while the common rooms and classes may be familiar, most of your professors will not be. However, mm -hmm. you may recognize a few faces. Uh, I'm not going to recognize any faces. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the Headless Hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win them over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. You'll come to know this eclectic group of talented witches and wizards in class and while completing side assignments that are part of a special curriculum. One's designed to help you catch up with the other fifth years. That little mini games. Lumos. A dangerous mystery. Opportunities for adventure abound in the area surrounding Hogwarts. The magical abilities you learn to master through your schoolwork 
will soon become tested as you unravel a dangerous mystery by working alongside the accomplished and yet enigmatic Professor Fig to try and discover if the rumors of a mounting goblin rebellion hold any weight. And a goblin rebellion Hogwarts lies in the balance. I have opinions differ as to how great a threat he really is. I'm gonna be honest, I'm really liking this so far though. Like knowing nothing about Harry Potter and then the going into this though, it looks good. Full of so much more than people realize. The wizarding world of this era is fraught with dangers. Creatures mm. corrupted by a magical force, powerful goblins, and sinister witches and wizards, all willing to fight, even kill, to achieve their own goals. I wonder, this game probably rated T, huh? In fact, there's an uneasy alliance between the goblins and dark wizards. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade, but all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? Do you not telling me? But perhaps you shouldn't involve yourself with that just yet. Let's go. Mm. Okay. Yeah, this game just seems massive. This is this has to be like one of the biggest games that WB's worked on though, eh? Other than like the Batman Arkham games, yeah. Enemies possess unique defensive and offensive abilities. But it did Shadow of Mordor also, eh? Stunning spells, enchanted weaponry, and more. While some may attack directly, others might enchant and incapacitate you. Mastery of the Shield Charm allows you to deflect ranged spells and direct weapon strikes. Hmm. Counter-attack with powerful stunning charms, allowing you to follow up with extended spell combinations. Okay. Damn, my guy going off of it. <laughs> Students who become Jeez. particularly adept at spell casting will find many ways to exploit their enemy's weakness. Damn, okay, she started moving real swift. Yeah, the more I'm seeing, the more I really want to play this game, dude. Slam with Descendo. Roast with Incendio. Devastate your enemies using various finishes. You can even use the mysterious, powerful magic. <laughs> he really just bounced them off the ground like that. Foes. A lot of variety. Mixing and matching dozens of spells will let you define your combat style. Hell yeah. Okay. I love just mixing up combos and games and just moves in any way that you like. And it feels fluid still. You'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. In addition talents to classes and, abilities. and spells, you'll have access to a deep set of upgrades, talents, and skills to aid your progression as a wizard. Complete challenges throughout the world to earn experience. Level up your abilities by choosing talents to upgrade your spells, plants, and potions to increase their power. <laughs> okay, but oh my god. Play style to allow you to focus on your favorite types of magic. Just murder. You can also loot, buy, or craft your own magical gear that will increase your offensive and defensive capabilities in combat. Can we get, can get some different outfits or something? To allow for greater abilities for your oh yeah, appearance! Yeah! Even motion when cutting your ingredients. They don't want us to look too much into the appearance, huh? Spells are not the only tools at your disposal in combat. As you hone your wand skills, you can continue to further your magical education at Hogwarts, progressing your development as a witch or wizard. Brew potions that can increase your power when you need a boost. Grow and deploy magical plants to mob the battlefield and keep your enemies at bay. <laughs> it's just funny to see him just fly around like that, dude. Seedlings to incapacitate unsuspecting enemies. 
Oh my god, what is that little platypus? Oh, platypus looking thing. And as you explore the world surrounding the castle and its grounds. You have the pets? The today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. Learning and mastering broom flight is highly recommended so that you may travel around the world more quickly. Mm -hmm. I want you to do my herbology homework. You're despicable. Companions. may be taught to you by students who become your friends. As you develop relationships with these schoolmates, they can accompany you on your journey as your companions. Okay. And over time, you'll learn their stories. This is our chance. Natsai Onai is a brave adventurer driven by the justice she seeks. Poppy Sweeting has a kind heart and loves magical beasts. Oh my god, look at it. With humans. Look at the angry bird looking things. Unafraid of detention or breaking the rules. Sneaking in the restricted section again. Is Sebastian Sallow, a charismatic Slytherin. We've been over this boy. Hufflepigs cannot reverse a curse. With a troubling family secret. Nothing can. Hmm. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. You'll meet these students and more as you explore common rooms, hallways between classes, and regular gathering areas. Welcome to the Room of Requirement. One of the most remarkable secrets of Hogwarts is known as the Room of Requirement. Okay. You're introduced to this space that seems to sense what you need and then provides it for you. Interesting. Yeah, I'm just really immersed in this right now, dude. The room provides space for you to sow and harvest plants, mm -hmm. brew potions, and it takes and a real time. Gear. A helpful house elf named Deke helps you discover vivariums that allow you to nurture your own menagerie of magical beasts. Okay. Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. It was Deke. You can freely customize this <laughs> That's his to name. reflect your personality and magical specialties. Not everything you need on your journey is available at Hogwarts. You'll want to visit the nearby wizarding village of Hogsmeade, where loads of shops and vendors can provide you with the supplies you require. From potion ingredients and recipes, to seeds for magical plants, to all sorts of gear. Okay. But Hogsmeade mm. also has its dangerous side. I was going to say, what's up with outfits? ...and wizards emboldened by the turmoil of the times wander the village outskirts. You must avoid them or defeat them. Mm-hmm. As you explore, you'll find the world surrounding Hogwarts is alive with activity, wonders, and areas of unusual interest. As the school year progresses, dynamic seasons and climates... Nice. ...will the sky with lightning or sunshine, or coat the ground with snow or rain. Unique wizarding hamlets pepper the countryside, each with vendors and residents who have stories to tell. Man, how long did they take to make this game? Be on the lookout Sheesh. for enchanting magical puzzles that may very well have been designed by Merlin himself when he was a student at Hogwarts. Magical beasts roam the lands outside the castle walls. Some have been corrupted by a mysterious dark magic, while others are at risk of poachers and their traps. If you're feeling benevolent, you can rescue them and restore them to health in the Room of Requirement. But there are dangers beyond your understanding in the world uh, as well. Dungeons crazy, okay. and hold perilous threats and also untold rewards. Be careful where you choose to explore, as it may lead you down a darker path. Master spells. Befriend new allies. Journey across a landscape. Oh my god, wow, okay. Uncover ancient secrets. Combat mystical threats. Learn long forgotten mysteries. Become the witch or wizard you want to be, as you leave your unique mark on the wizarding world. Here in Hogwarts Legacy. I'm impressed, dude. I'm honestly impressed with that. That looked really, really good. 
like yeah they, they have a few things that they could work out with the game sure holiday 2022 as what i saw right there i'd play it i honestly would somebody who's never watched harry potter never read the books that was your first extended wow. look at hogwarts legacy now let's hear from the real wizards and witches behind the game okay Yeah, this is this is looking like it could be a banger, dude. The detail and the passion and the love for this brand that the team has is astonishing. Our team is so excited to take all of the love that they put into this as fans and give it to fans. This is the game that they've dreamed of for 20 years. Hmm. Been waiting for a good Harry Potter game. The lore of the Wizarding World is already so rich, and all we had to do was harness those elements and build a game out of it. The movies, the books, they all touched me in such a way. Like, it makes me want to go to experience Hogwarts. It makes me put in so much more detail into this game. That's so much inspiration. We really want to make sure that anything we add or anything we play with or anything that we explore really feels authentic bringing to life just the charm and the love for everything we have for the books and then marrying that with the iconic experiences from the movies that fans will recognize is really just the perfect handshake between the two hmm. just the discovery of like seeing things portrayed for the first time maybe they've read something and had a picture in their head the whole time but then finally to get to touch it to walk around it You've got all of these elements that can come together to create this amazing AAA open world action RPG. When it comes to the open world, it's just we just knew it wasn't going to be enough to just stare out of the windows of Hogwarts and wonder what it's like out there. But the final question that fans ask is, what's beyond that? What's beyond mm. the Forbidden Forest? What's going to be beyond Hogsmeade? What's beyond the Black Lake if I start traveling south? And we just felt like we had to answer those questions. <laughs> okay. This, yeah, this is going to be a massive, massive world. We're creating a real wide palette of opportunities and ways to explore the world. You're going to see different stories that are really exclusive to who you were in the world. Hogwarts Legacy is an original story that takes place in the late 1800s. You are a new student who is starting at the famed School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year, which is very unusual. So already there's a bit of an edge and a bit of a mystery. The original story that we tell in the game is your story of what you did, you know, in the Wizarding World that you haven't seen before. Or make our own magic with our story we're trying to tell. Fans are familiar with the Wizarding World from, you know, the 1900s and on, really. But now, with this world, we're able to sort of create a space that's their own. Mm. Fans really just go crazy with it, have fun magic. with it has been around for a long time, to say the least, and that Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. And the Avatar, the player, has the ability to sense it and possibly wield it or control it. Our process of development started with rereading the books. And over development, we reread the books many times. Every time we'd start with a new feature, we'd dig into that, and then beyond, we would go into the films Being able to put our own spin on what this universe is was a pretty big deal. I helped design a piece that nobody has ever seen before, the Hufflepuff common room. You know, as a mm. Hufflepuff, you always wonder, like, what, what is my common room supposed to look like? It's close enough to the world that we know that fans will recognize certain names, they'll recognize spells, they'll recognize certain locations. I recognize that doorway. I I'm not going to recognize anything if I don't watch any of the movies <laughs> by the time this, this game comes out. When people engage in the Wizarding World, what's the one anchor? Like, what's the thing that everyone comes back to? What's the thing that grounds it all and grounds all these characters and grounds all these figures? And for us, we really felt like that answer was Hogwarts itself. That school, that famous school of witchcraft and wizardry is really what binds it all how to bring Hogwarts to life. That was a very big challenge because as everybody knows, Hogwarts is huge. Now we need to know exactly how this passage connects to this passage for a game, because you're going to have to walk it. And of course, mm. again, Sentient Castle, it's, it's got new surprises up its sleeves. It likes to keep its students on its toes. 
who put so many little secrets and passageways and rooms in this castle. Yes, he's recreate those a lot of a lot of little details. And then there's these other places that are only mentioned in the books or just alluded to. And we have to make the connective tissue that brings all that together. You have to really like go into depth, depth with these places that we've never like we barely heard about. That's what they're saying. Yeah. Hard to do because it's all about the details. And as a concept team, we really got into those details and studied history, studied architecture. I hope that when fans play the game, they get as lost in it as I do. I can just be reviewing a side mission and all of a sudden I find myself wandering Hogwarts for like 45 minutes because it's so beautiful. The mm. community is absolutely going to love Hogwarts Legacy. This could be so fun. Get that letter to Hogwarts and go to Hogwarts. We're so excited for people to come to this, to inhabit it, to actually enter the Hogwarts that we built. This is your Hogwarts Legacy. I, I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Like, I'm surprised they got me, they got me so immersed into this. We truly hope you enjoyed the Hogwarts Legacy state of play. Our team is so grateful for the excitement and for the passion that all of you bring to this. It's truly what fuels us. On behalf of our team at WB Games Avalanche, we want to thank you for being here today and we'll see you at Hogwarts. All right. That's our show. We hope you're excited for the magic to come. See you I'm actually time. excited. Wow. That looked really damn good, guys. I, uh, I'm, I'm quite shocked of how good that looked. Like, I knew visually it looked pretty good, but just the attention to detail, and you could see how much they really, really care about this game, and how they had to take inspiration from the books and the movies and make things even, like, make, make them their own at the same time with things that they weren't given much information on, like locations and stuff. But it looks good. The gameplay looks pretty fun also. I'm interested to see how you can mix up different moves and stuff. And I don't know, it's just something completely different that I would typically not dive into, but hey, I'm willing to try it. So, I mean, you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you guys are thinking. I think it's, it looks like a banger. I hope it ends up living up to these expectations that are being set, especially now. Um, but yeah, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps out a bunch. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading when I'm live. Uh, you can join the Discord server. It's completely free. It's in the description box below also. You know, we hang out there in the community. Have a good time over there. And I give you guys updates on when I'm like uploading videos and streaming and all that. But uh, yeah, we'll see more when we see more about this game. I'm sure we will. Maybe at like E3 or something. But yeah, other than that, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Stay safe. And as I always say, don't do crack. K experience if you enjoyed this video. If not, you're going to Femboy IHOP.